down here. It's the corner house. Park around there on the side of the wall. Okay. Morning. Hello. Church down in Gloucestershire. And um, little bits of blue, but heavy rain forecast for later. Anyway, here it is, number 14. Oh, <laughs> anticipation is everything. Good morning. Good morning. You're Mr. Kate. Yes. And Colin. Colin, yeah. yes, good morning. The grandparents. Indeed, indeed. Can I come and have a butcher's? Yes, but we'll have to go around this way. Oh, it's tradesman, is it? It is indeed. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> I've seen the boots. That's your granddaughter we're doing it for, right? It is, yes. Now, I'm told from this, or I saw this video, it doesn't look that big. It's very small. It looks very, very to small. Me, smaller than it looked <laughs> on that video. <laughs> oh my goodness me! It is tiny. If there was a pocket anchor, this is it. Tell me a little bit more about who we're doing it for. We're doing it for our granddaughter, um, Linda. She works uh, in Gloucester, and then in the evening she works locally in a pub. Okay. This is what I thought. So what we've got is a Yorkstone terrace outside the house, leading to a Yorkstone path, a circle of cobbles in the centre. The path continues down to this arbour, which is this little sort of intricate uh, wrought iron affair, quite pretty. The shed, I want to move from that corner, turn around and put over there with a fence panel alongside it, so the end of the garden is foreshortened and you don't actually see it. Um, there are then conifers here standing up like that, four of them, um, quite tight growing conifers. At the centre, as you can see, there's a, a little fountain there which is going to squirt water upwards in a very gentle and relaxing jet. And then mm. down here in this corner is a focal point, um, a little topiary peacock. Looks lovely. Where are we going to get the garden extension from then? Oh, uh, yeah, well, <laughs> uh, if, you, if you look at it like that, then you get a fair idea of how short it is, you see. That, that's all yeah. we've got to do to transfer that to that. Right, we'll move this now, OK? I don't need four of us, one on each corner, we can lift it over. No, the two of us will handle it easy. I'll go first. Ready? One, two, three, and there we go. Now your turn. Which way am I going? Over that? Yes, we'll just walk it over a bit. All right, go on then. Oh, we've got flags underneath it. How thin are you? Well, <laughs> obviously not thin enough. <laughs> but we can get it over really tight in a minute because there. there's a bit of concrete sticking up. But what we'll do for a floor now, yeah. it's got a wooden floor inside. If we put some bricks down and some timber bearers across. Ah, native bearers. That's it, and we can pop it up in the air on top and allow an airflow underneath it so it's less likely to rot. Mm. Do you know, if I were allowed to pass one law, if I became Prime Minister, heaven forbid, come and look at this. Because the law I would pass is a law which stopped builders putting two inches of topsoil over that. Plants will not grow in that. Let's interview a builder and find out what he thinks. Okay. A word? I smell trouble here. I never built this house or this garden. Yes, it's So cool. do you want me to be responsible for every Passing problem coming in the garden? buck, really, isn't it? You're a member of the race. Yes, that's very true. Well, try and persuade the rest of them, will you? Oh, he doesn't have hopefully to make it they're out. all watching. Mr. T doesn't want any more of this, please. So all you builders out there, take on board what he says. Well, that's rather nice. This, this is my favourite. This is secondhand Yorkstone. Yorkstone, my favourite yeah. too. Yeah. New or secondhand? Where'd this come from? Then? Well, this has got a particular history. Some of this stone here actually came from the Admiralty Arches in Pall Mall. You don't mean that you're actually by appointment. Well, a rise... Uh... Circumference. <laughs> <laughs> Painting the fence by way of the change in Old English Green, which is a lovely colour because it just makes the fence melt away. What you have to be really careful of is you don't put too much paint on the brush because otherwise it goes down the slats and goes over next doors. But so far, I seem to be all right. Now, what we have to do here, because this is a new house, 
and there's no gully, we have to excavate the ground so the water will run off the paving into the garden. It's very important. Also, the damp course is here, so must make sure that's not bridged. And it has ventilation for the suspended concrete floor here. So the paving must come below there. Oh, my arbor's here. Hello. Morning. Oh, very nice. Right. Lovely. A bit of rain. Crumbs. It's tough folk around here. I don't think it'll blow over. <laughs> It's all good solid stuff, it's galvanised, solid material, acid etch primer, which really eats into it well, and then undercoat and top coat, so really you should have it for forever. Tom is starting to lay the circle of bricks that'll contain the water feature. We had the Red Baron up there, but <laughs> if you want to make a, a circle, what you have to do is put a peg in the centre, Cut your radius to size, drill a little hole and screw it in, and then you can spin this around and make sure that the circle is even. Well, in theory, anyway. Here is the weather forecast for Gloucestershire and surrounding environs. This afternoon, five to two, there will be very heavy rain, correct? Tomorrow, it will be showery. So whichever way you look at it, we're going to get very wet. See this ivy? Yes. Put it up in there. Oh, OK. And turn it into a peacock. Uh, perhaps not me. Yeah, definitely. OK, how? I've had this in my potting shed, shed, for two <laughs> years, and I knew that one day I should have an opportunity to use it. It's a topiary frame for a peacock. Look at that. Right. right. <laughs> they end up looking like a chicken. <laughs> Nothing like a peacock, I tell you that kind of <laughs> it's a peacock. Right now, an off cut for here, Willie. What size is the tummy? I don't know, thrice a brick and I'll tell you. <laughs> there it goes there. I feel like a very wet monk. <laughs> I'd prefer a hot bath for myself, <laughs> wouldn't you? <laughs> 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 oh, just turn it around. Fisherman's friend, isn't it? I'll have you know, I'm the second sexiest man on television after George Clooney. <laughs> 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 Mind the gap. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was just being elevated. <laughs> uh, Alan, you're not going to go through the fence, though. <laughs> it's like some religious ceremony. Right. OK. You just tap it up. <laughs> 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 You take on unknowns. Train them up. What do you get? Lit! Okay, it's me. No, I need a bit more out of this thing. Over to your corner. Oh, oh, oh. Have you got enough, Charlie? Yeah, hold on. Let me just get this on the end. I am one over here. Right, what I'm doing here is digging the reservoir for the water feature. Because Alan doesn't want to see any water, we've got to put a grid across and suspend the fountain on the grid. And the fountain's going to be quite high when it's working. So we've got to run the liner all the way across the circle and under the pebbles so that all the water gets back into the reservoir. Bend your knees when you're picking up heavy paper slabs. And don't forget, so that future deluges drain off into the garden, lay paving with a slight fall away from the house.
On the liner, a bed of mortar for our cobble surround. This will drain back into the sump under the fountain. And no, we didn't pinch these stones off a beach. They all come from gravel pits and would be crushed for road stone if we didn't have them for the garden. want a pleasurable pastime in your garden to make a surface that's interesting and actually relatively cheap to construct go for cobbles in cement like this it's not the most comfortable surface to walk on but for what you might call sort of paving highlights it's really a lovely finish I'll tell you what guys soon you won't need me anymore yes we will because you taught us all we know about stone no it looks good wonderful well, Kate and Colin, if you could arrange a little bit more better weather in the morning. Fine. We'll give it a try. <laughs> Good night. Stay our friends tonight. Good night. Good night. Good, Good night, Alan. Night. Good night, everybody. Good night, Tommy. It's 25 to 10 in the morning. When she comes back at 5 o'clock this afternoon, this has got to be a garden rather than the Somme, a recreation. Passes a fork. Once I get through the three inches of hogging, the soil's quite nice. <laughs> If you want in your garden somebody of tall sort of pencil shapes, uh, but you don't want, you know, you're terrified of Leyland and all of the conifers. This one is great, it's a Thuya, and it's called Smaragd, Scandinavian, evidently. Um, I've had it growing in my garden now for a good 15 years. It is now about half as much again tall as this, but it stays slender, it's glossy, it's deliciously scented when you sniff it, so it really is a conifer you can plant without worrying it's going to take over your garden. So it doesn't smell like cat's wee, then? I was guarantee that someday we'll cut your poetry and turn it into dust. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely shrub this, Amelanchia, the snowy mespulus. Beautiful, airy spring blossom. Foliage when it comes out, as you can see, is sort of flushed with russety red. And then it's green in summer and come the autumn, wonderful autumn tint, scarlet, fiery oranges before the leaves fall. It's a sort of, um, it works to earn its keep all the year round. One plinth. One pedestal. Just about there, and don't touch anything, will you? <laughs> Try and get that central without moving. The bricks or the. Well, I'm going to have to put this down somewhere. <laughs> Twenty. Oh! Twenty-two. One inch that way. In other words, you're going to miss. All those beautifully. Got there? Almost. Right, go on. Got it. You sure? Yep. All we need to do is connect the pump to the fountain with this tube. Oh, look at that. I've lost all sensation in my right leg. <laughs> Standing it up. 
But what kinking do you think the is? hills would be nice. Well, I'm just walking it back. There we are. The idea behind this is that we have a little tiny fountain which just plays up here, falls into this. I'm normally not allowed to tell you about water features, but my idea, so why shouldn't I? Little fountain up into here falls into this, dribbles off down there, back in the hole, all that covered in cobbles. Don't see the water underneath. Just a gentle playing. Oh uh, yeah, what next up? <laughs> Time to assemble the cast iron arbor and then dress it with plants. Coming through with another suckle. When she sits in her arbor, if the uh. wind doesn't take it away, <laughs> she'll get the fragrance of the honeysuckle. Get that right over that window. That's gorgeous. Berberis. Beautiful. Very spiky and these lovely orange flowers means that it's a great informal hedge because if you want to stop next door's dog coming through, you're okay. Densely planted for instant effect. Of course, there are those who say, oh, don't believe in instant gardens. They should develop over 10 years. You know, this will develop over 10 years, but you get a kind of kick start to it, don't you? This box is lovely. This is the dwarf box. And you can clip it to keep it about a foot high, just below your knee, and about a foot wide, so it makes a green curb. If you can never remember when to clip it, Derby Day, May. That's a pretty good time to clip it in dull weather, so the edges of the cut edges of the leaves don't burn. Charlie? Yeah? Can I turn the fountain on and see if it works? Yes. Ooh. Wait for the exciting bit when it overflows. Is that it? Yeah, it gets more spectacular when it fills up and dribbles. Like me. Come on, my little beauty. Yes. Come love the front edge. Yes. Not exactly Geneva, but fine by me. You'll enjoy the view. What do you think of it so far? Don't ask. OK. And it. How's it going out here, all right? Fine, I've Lovely, finished my bit. Are we all right now, Alan? Right. Can we go change, freshen up? Yeah? Yeah, we fine. Do. OK, see you in a while. Coming up the straight. It's been a long <laughs> straight, but we're coming up. Tommy, do we keep these bags? No. <laughs> Stay there, catch this. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, Mark. Hi, how are you? Fine. Very good. Where are you? The traffic's pretty bad, so we'll probably get there about quarter past. Quarter past five? Yeah. Linda's in a hurry to see how Colin and Kate have got on with the decorating. Little does she know. OK, tidy. Still need to drive, quick. Ditch the broom, ditch the broom. Oh, ditch. Hello. Hope you like the colour. <laughs> 
Is it right or good or bad? We've got another little surprise for you, but you've got to come out here to see the next one, you see. You what? Oh. Wait, wait, wait. You haven't seen it yet. Oh, my God! Go on, oh my God. Lynn. Oh my God. Are you <laughs> <all right? laughs> I need to do something like this. <laughs> How nice to see you. Oh, that's brilliant. I can't right? believe it. Yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, oh bless. Thank you so much. It's brilliant. It's a pleasure. <laughs> oh, <dear>. oh. <laughs> Like, what well, lovely bit, weather yesterday, Mr. Smashing Day. But what a difference a day makes. Real York stone paving leads to the simple bubbling fountain, a sort of jacuzzi for birds. The planting's full enough, but still has room to fill out in time. Either enthroned under the arbour's arch, or on the tiny patio, there's somewhere to sit, even a place for a peacock. The champagne will help you calm down, will it? <laughs> I'll go and get the glass. I'll get, I'll get the bottle. Oh, I'll tell you, we watch this every week, and I've never seen anybody disappointed yet. <laughs> Superb. Is that my shed? That's your shed. You go in it round the other way. Ladies and gentlemen, have you noticed? I mean, I know I'm nagging. Look, I mean, this is Tommy Walsh's glass, and this is my glass. Oh, it's. Oh dear, I can't believe it, it looks brilliant. From the ground floor scene in Gloucester, it's goodbye from us. Goodbye. Bye. And it's goodbye from them. Bye. Bye. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.